places you wouldn't want to live. Okay. Bangladesh is one. Oh, no, no, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's terrible place names you wouldn't want to live. Oh. Not just horrible places. Oh. Dong Rak in Thailand. <laughs> Dear. I've been to Thai Rak in Dongland. <laughs> oh, poor people of Zimbabwe living in Wanky. <laughs> <laughs> what else have we what else have we got? There is a place called Intercourse in Pennsylvania, USA. Quickly followed by Climax, Colorado. <laughs> but I'm like saying the oddest place one. To live. The, I know, <laughs> yes. Mmm. Climax. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Population growing. <laughs> <laughs> but the, 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 the sweetest one we found was this one. It's a place in Arizona called <laughs> Wet oh, Beaver Creek. Please. Office. Can I help you? Oh, hello. Uh, my name is Graham Norton. I'm I'm calling from uh, a television show. We were looking at the at the, the whole that whole area of, of, of Arizona, and I just wondered, uh, you know, what what the attractions I I in Wet Beaver are. Okay. Um, well, have you been to this area before, then? I, I've never visited Wet Beaver myself. <laughs> um, friends of mine have, and. and <laughs> They say it's fantastic. What you'd have to do is you're going to have to call back here at the office, okay? Because you can usually start fishing wet beaver by mid to late April. <laughs> Big man. Show us some dog whistle today moves. If I do, you do it as well. Oh, yeah, I do as well. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 So we've we'll, we'll, got, some, got some music, I'll just Okay, we'll do, we do one move, yeah? Okay. We do this, this oh, move. okay. So we'll put some Dog Whistle Day music on. Okay, show me. Good morning. Okay. Is that it? Okay. Oh! Okay. 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 I can't tell you how relieved I am you didn't fall over. Because <laughs> right. it would be terrible. The whole match would have been over. It would have been my fault. Yeah. Been... You ended a civil war, and that's the choreography. <laughs> the choreography for the next goal, maybe. <laughs> What's this bit? What's this bit? It's like a kiss, but like saying it's nice, you know. And... <laughs> yeah. Not a cigarette? No, 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 no. <laughs> It's a French chef, you know, magnifique. Magnifique, exactly. Yeah, I see. Oh, 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 Because the dancing thing, because footballers in this country, they have a reputation for going wild and going out and about. But we don't see you going that mad. You seem to have kind of a, a nice home life, you and your wife, Lala. Oh, la, yeah, la. <laughs> Oh, OK, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> no, but I have, um, you know, a nice family and, uh, yeah, we're quiet. We don't need to, to be out there. It's very good. So you're a footballer who likes consensual sex with one person? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Controversial. Well, see, it's, it's yourself, it's yourself and Julie Andrews, and I don't mean to be I've rude. I've never seen this one. But <laughs> is it just me, or is there something really disturbing about seeing Julie Andrews' nipples so clearly? <laughs> <laughs> Even like using eye level. Yeah, yeah. you're kind of like, oh my god, <laughs> that's Julie Andrews' nipple. You think, ooh, it's sort of Mary pop out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, the thing is, we, we discovered that uh, uh, children do make Valentine's cards right. for their parents, mostly for their mothers. Now, we're not mocking them. They're all adorable, but they do vary in quality. <laughs> uh, for instance, this first one, I, I feel, could have benefited from a better layout and maybe better spelling. Happy Val in tits, <laughs> day mom. <laughs> It's not great. <laughs> this one is pretty direct. Thank you, Mom, for making me food so I don't die. <laughs> it's a reason to love someone, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, now, poetry. Valentine's Day freezes up. We can all write poetry on Valentine's Day because it's one of those things. Hence, 
Roses are red, violets are red. Everything is red! <laughs> <laughs> I like he held it together for doing it, and then he said, he goes, I'm a boy! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, sometimes, sometimes you don't need words to know what somebody's mother's like. Here's a lovely Valentine's for somebody's mother. <laughs> <laughs> Busted! <laughs> <laughs> and finally, children, they give with one hand. I love you, Mom. I cannot say how much I love you. I cannot love you more, but you are ugly. <laughs> Children. Is this one of those moments you want to say, John? What fucking idea no, was this? Not <laughs> no, I didn't see the fangs, or slanderous. Mind your own business. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, no, see, though. No. I'm, I'm, I'm being delicate here. Okay. <laughs> Wonder where you will. <laughs> Do that. No, 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 no. Oh, uh. so, now scream when you want me to stop. Now, can right? I just say, are those eyes I can see? Yes, those are eyes, yeah. Great. Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, I'm going to yeah. <laughs> I love your orange knees. <laughs> Bonsoir, did you? Bonsoir. No. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. <laughs> I'm good, thank yeah, you. Yeah, very thank good. You. Because, uh, of course, tomorrow is the FA Cup. It's a very important match. Yeah, it's an important game. You know, uh, it's a final and against Liverpool. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, can I just say to any Chelsea fans watching, uh, this is pre-recorded, so as you're watching, Didier is, in fact, at home asleep resting. <laughs> are you at home asleep resting? Of course I am. Oh, you are. <laughs> Now, the, the thing about you is extraordinary, because obviously you know, soccer is huge in this country, football is massive in this country, but I think there's only been, I think, three uh, soccer players ever have been on the cover of American uh, Vanity Fair, and uh, you're one of them. There you are. You and Ronaldo there. Because, that, I mean, that's a, that's a big deal. Yeah. Julie's <laughs> going, <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, you're going to plaster Paris with you. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> because, that, I mean, that sort of recognition on a, on a global yeah, scale it is... It is, is, it is. It was for the, for the World Cup 2010 in South Africa, and uh, it was a special edition, and uh, yeah, I think it was ni quite nice to be there. Yeah. Were you both there at the same time for that shoot? Yes. Was that a bit were. awkward? <laughs> It would be strange, like, yeah. everybody was trying to oh, yeah. show them. <laughs> Isn't it great that even really fit footballers have to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. But was it like, was it like oh, nice pants? <laughs> Because, Cameron, you did a, a wildlife series. I did. I did a little uh, a show called Yes, I Did. Um, I was trying to do that with you, but I'm not as, you know, I'm not as well. Do you strangle snakes? And I, I, well, you know, I've had snakes. I, my first pet, when I, was, when I was 11, my mom and dad said, what do you want for your birthday? I said, I want a snake. So I got a snake Very for sorry. my 11th birthday. He was a six-foot-long Florida king snake named Norton. You're kidding. No, <laughs> really? Norton. Really? Her name was Norton. Oh. <laughs> Now, um, that's the kind of the classic face-off yes. thing. And you're really kind of staring at each other. Now, is there no temptation to laugh or... Do you know what I mean? Do you never kind of do the staring and think, oh, this is just stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, at one time I did feel like that, but, uh, you know, at this point we kind of look at each other and try and see a weakness in each other, so... Can you do it? Yeah, but if I do that, I'll have to punch you. Oh. A lovely picture of the look, and that'll do me. Um, no, no, let's have a stir down. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we sand. This is terrifying. You send him an emotion. 
And in the end, he takes a picture of himself experiencing that emotion. <laughs> like, unctuous. <clears throat> unctuous. How would you do unctuous? Yeah, well, that's dripping with, you know, hung, with honey. You know, everything is... You're just doing everything this way. It would be like... <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if that's what Eric went for. Uh, <laughs> not quite. <laughs> he, he's done a, sorry, he, does, he does up and down looks. He, d he likes the up and down looks. Yeah. Uh, but here's a very tricky one. Here's a very tricky one. I'm not sure. Either of you, would either of you attempt bemused resignation? Linda, could you do bemused resignation? It's tricky, isn't it? Is that it? <laughs> Let's see how Eric does bemused resignation. This should be fascinating. <laughs> Sorry, I was wrong. <laughs> I don't know. What do you want to see? Do you want to see motherly love, stomach cramps, satanic? <laughs> did I leave the oven on? <laughs> do you want to see did I leave the oven on? Yes. Okay, here's did I leave the oven on. Ooh. <laughs> Because you guys, you grew up in Essex. Did both of you grew up in Essex? Yeah. Did you go clubbing in the same places? No. No. Did you go? I went to... A bit of time to, and envy? I went to Faces. Faces, there we go. At the venue. I went to Time and Envy once. Yeah. Once. What And happened? it was a phone party, and I had an allergic reaction and had to leave. How embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> like, in my best outfit. Got there, everyone was covered in fat, it was very dirty. Yeah. And I just I got a rash. <laughs> he was definitely there. <laughs> You're never having sex again, so I'm, I'm still... <laughs> people, okay. people will see you across the room. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Julie Waters? What? Did you meet your... What's say? What? Leave me alone. <laughs> No. Right, well, didn't you meet your you met your husband in a club, didn't Mind you? Mind your own business. The whole concept of chat show falling apart. <laughs> Mind you, why are you asking me all these questions? I'm tired. <laughs> but did you go clubbing a lot? Clubbing? Clubbing? Yes, but back at, yes, I did in Birmingham. Yes. My mother didn't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what's that got to do with it? But isn't that where you met your husband? <laughs> oh, no, I met him in a bar. Oh, a bar? In Fulham, yes. Oh, in Fulham? It was full of frightfully posh people. It was full of who, what we used to call hooray Henrys. Everybody was, everybody was frightfully posh. And I said, I remember saying at the time, I, bet no, I was a bit drunk. I remember saying, I bet nobody here is a member of the Labour Party. And he said, I am, actually. And that was it. And then we met, and then he came home and never moved out. <laughs> he mended my washing machine, told me I needed a pump. I misunderstood him. <laughs> Uh, did did you follow a lot of that story, Didier? Didier, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. I'm you, sorry, Didier. You, 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 didn't, you didn't miss anything. I think the lesson learned is, Didier, <laughs> Didier you're quite right not to go to clubs. Uh, okay. <laughs> but we can all pretend that we are in a club now because oh, Jessica J. Oh, yes. Jessica J. I love that. Jessica J. Jessica J. Jessica J. What else can we see? We've seen uh, all the girls. Oh, vegetables. Uh, or, or masturbation. You pick. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like a girl thing. <laughs> <laughs> which, which one do you want to do? Do you want to do masturbation? I think we should end on masturbation as usual. D yes. <laughs> After a great night out, oh! it always ends oh, the same way. I like way. to relax. Yes. All right. Okay. Vegetables, please. <laughs> <laughs> Vegetables from Miss Fisher. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that is. Is that a sun-dried tomato? I don't know. <laughs> but look at the beautiful things you can do with a few aubergine. <laughs> look at that! Isn't that great? But wait, here we go. Pears. Mm. Oh! <laughs> but now, now, if you got a bit excited watching the vegetables, you'll need Carrie's next suggestion. Uh, what's the name of this one? Mormon Masturbation Prevention. <laughs> The Mormons take it's been pop. so helpful for me. <laughs> you know? Well, they've got, they've got top advice in it. It's a bit told to watch, but if we read out a bit. Uh, number two. Never tie oh, avoid being alone as much as possible. <laughs> Find good company and stay in this company. Mm. 
And there's another one here. Number four, when you bathe, do not admire yourself in a mirror. <laughs> Never stay in the bath more than five or six minutes, just long enough to bathe and dry and dress, and then in big block capitals, it says, get, get out, out of the, the bathroom! bathroom. <laughs> If that is where you have your problem for the most part, mm -hmm. dress yourself for the night so securely that you cannot easily touch your vital parts. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs>
<laughs> are they everywhere you go, the tryhards? I, I guess I, you can't always necessarily tell. I have gotten better at spotting them, though. I mean, a few characteristics always kind of give them away. It's like... <laughs> I, I see what you mean. <laughs> but you have a good rep for spending time with the, the fans. Like, they, on blogs and things, they say you're really nice to them. Well, I really like them. Oh. So. They give you lots of money. <laughs> <laughs> I like them, too. Because, <laughs> Chris Rock, do you get got mobbed on the street. Yeah, just by the Twilight fans. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> they just run up and bite me. Ha! <laughs> Twilight, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> What's that about? Well, you must have a whole new group of kids who love you now. Kids do love me. Yeah. Kids do love me, and I love them. Not in a Michael Jackson way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know he's dead, but come on. <laughs> It's like that's all been forgotten. Yeah. Yeah. That, 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 <laughs> oh, yeah, that's all. No, no. I, the kids love me because I'm I'm Marty the Zebra from Madagascar. Yeah. <laughs> so do you have to just stand there doing the voice for them? I do the voice quite often. Uh, I had to go read for my daughter's class a couple of days ago. You know, they have this thing called the mystery reader. It means every week one parent will read to the class. And last week, I read uh, Curious George Goes to the Hospital to my daughter's... Beautiful story. Fourth, yes, it's the greatest story of all time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the kids, I read the story, and then they were like, can you do Marty? Can you sing Afro Circus? <laughs> and I'm just like... Da, 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 da. <laughs> Anything for my child. Aww. You know. <laughs> Aww. And, and Stephen Mangan, you get recognized, but some of the recognition sounds really annoying. Uh, yeah, do you know what I, I'm talking about? I, I do know what you're talking about. Dan. Yes. Yes. I did, did you ever know a show called Alan Partridge? Have you heard of that? Show this big show over here. Steve Coogan. Oh, Steve Coogan. Played this DJ. I thought you were Steve Coogan. Well... <laughs> you're not the first. <laughs> well, I was you're cast. not Steve Coogan? I'm not. <laughs> what the hell is he doing here? <laughs> they told me Steve Coogan was on the show. <laughs> That's the only reason I did it. <laughs> You'll love Stephen, you'll love him. Okay. <laughs> well, I was cast in this thing because I am playing Steve Coogan's doppelganger. Okay. A guy called Dan, and there's a scene in it where he spots me across a car park and he shouts, Dan. In the script it just says Dan, but on the day Steve shouted Dan about 70 times. Dan! 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 <laughs> and it became a bit of a thing over here. So, I, for every time I go to a shop, not every time, but a lot, I go to a shop and the guy at the checkout, Dan! Dan! <laughs> to make it work, you have to do it 15 times, so you, I just have to stand there. You are no Steve Coogan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're good. I'm sure you're good. Welcome all, welcome all. Oh. You all well? Yeah? Yes, very yeah. good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Yeah. Like that... the new look. Like the new look. What yes, do you mean? The beard like... is... What's yeah. that? What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know. It yeah. looks fantastic. It was a holiday thing. And King Lear. Hmm? Looked like a king. It looks like a king, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. King Lear. You could do King Lear now. Or a queen. Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I am slightly got the face of a playing card, because if you turn it upside down now, it does look the same. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Now, listen, you might look at this couch, ladies and gentlemen, and you think, it's international, truly international. But, oh, contraire, because now, Mr. Stanley Tucci... Yes, sir. You live here now. I do. And you love it here. I love it. Now, I love it. I live actually here. <laughs> well, here. <laughs> yeah, it's ever it. so bad. Yes. The audience know how you feel. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, but the thing is, I love it here, but yeah. I moved from a bog. You moved yeah. you, you moved from New York. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. But you genuinely like it here. I do, I really like it. No, my wife is British and uh, and you know, we, we ended up moving here. It was it was time to go. And you've got a, a new little baby now. A new little baby, yes. Uh, a son? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A son. A, yes, a son. Yes, I think so, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what's his name? It's Matteo. Matteo, yes. Matteo Tucci. Matteo Oliver Tucci. Oh, oh isn't that nice? Oh, yes. you, if you send him to school here, he will just be Matt Tucky. Yes, he will. <laughs> no, in fact, I, I said, I don't want... I said, Matteo, everyone's going to pronounce it incorrectly. And my wife said, oh, no, they won't, Matteo. It's very obvious. As soon as we get to... We just... <laughs> Who took a trip? He took his first plane plane trip, and the, and the guy at the customs desk said, um, "Oh, so and uh, Matteo?" <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Let's "See, <laughs> Matt Tucky and his dad Stan Tucky." Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> uh, 
And Kim Cattrall, now famously, you, um, you, we all know you were born here, but you do spend a lot of time here now. Yes, yes, the last 10 years. But there's Keane and there's Keane. Do, do you, you, you actually go to football matches in Liverpool? When I'm in Liverpool, yes, yes, I do. I go to Anfield, <laughs> not Everton, of course. A Anfield is oh, Liverpool okay. is my team. Yes. Okay, yes. but now I heard that the Liverpool <clears throat> players then return the favour. Well, one of them did, Stevie G. I went to Anfield, and uh, he said that he would like to come and see the play that I was doing, which was Anthony Cleopatra at the Liverpool Playhouse. So, um, you know, yes, he brought his friends, and luckily. It was the one Shakespearean play that he took in school. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't have to explain everything. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was all right, you know. It's yeah, all right. It's all right, you know, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right yeah. Got a bit bored, so I raked me studs down the back of her leg, you know. Can you do the Liverpool accent? I can. You know I can. Oh, you, she can? That's right, Swacker. All right. 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 Kim down, calm, calm down, Kim. Hey. Go on, Nick, it's what? And the thing is, Paul, we think of you as pure London. But, in fact, you're from Wales. Yeah, I was born in the Ronda Valley, and I moved to London when I was four. And, uh I spoke like that then. I spoke like yeah. a lovely Welsh accent. Oh, I, I love the Welsh. And a very yeah. lifting accent from the valleys. And uh, I was very quiet for a month. And, uh, <laughs> and then in pure mockney, I went to my mum. Mum, I want to go to the south end. <laughs> <laughs> Bet 365. Add that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it broke her heart. But, you know, I had to fit in. I had to fit in, Graham. Yeah, but is that where you think the voices, like how you were able to do the voices from that, from... Well, it's switch between those accents. It's possible, I suppose, certainly for Welsh in London, but I don't think it helped with Geordie. It's <laughs> hard. <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, Harry, we know you do the voices, but impressions... See, it wasn't until we watched the story of the twos. I don't know if you saw the story of twos. I don't know if... Is it still on iPlayer? If it's not, it should uh, be. I don't know. But it's brilliant. It'll be on uh, it's wonderful. No, seriously, it's like a tour de force. Did anyone sketches. see it? <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh, absolutely. I love Rocket Man. It is an inspiring song. I love Elton John. I love that man. All right, well, listen, you might have guessed this because I did say it was a, a chat show, but my guest tonight is Sir Elton John. He's Are here. you lying? <laughs> you lying? Stop. Do not tell me this. No, he is not your guest. <laughs> you are lying. No, he is not. It is not Elton John. It is. It is. It is. Hi, Chad. It's Elton. All right, all right, all right, wait, all right. Let me ask you a question, though. Okay, all right. True or false, true or false, is your real name Reg? <laughs> You're a big fan. <laughs> it oh used my to God. Be. It, it used to be, but I changed it, so my real name now is Elton. <laughs> could you, could you, could you um, get into your harness for us? <laughs> you want me to get in the harness? <laughs> You, li you like getting in the harness, don't you? On TV, but with TV... Well, we everything. can't see you, Darth Pam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but y'all... No, y'all just sick. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Get, get into your harness. No, 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 we can't no, see you. are imagining you in the harness. Okay, so get into okay. the harness. I gotta get my, my... All right, well, I'll do the best I can. Hold on. Let me uh, get in this thing, yo. I can't believe this. This is very serious, you chap. Hold, hold on, I gotta put this thing under my chin here. Hold on. We're hanging. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Hold on. All right, all right, I'm having a bit of difficulty here. All right, I got one, I got one leg in here. Hold on. Hold on, Elton. Hold on, Elton. I got it for you. All right, it's, all right. I think, I think I got it. Okay. All right. You're in. That's exciting. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, yeah. <laughs> So what happens now, Chad? Do you just kind of swing? That's right. I use my body locomotion to, uh, to get the thing moving here, and then I can do whatever I want. 
and I usually uh, turn on some music when I'm in it. Oh, is this the is this the Rocket Man beat? That's that's exactly right. I, <laughs> supposing I'm, I sing it, and then you, well, if if I'm singing it, Ken, will that have the same desired effect? Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> and I think it's gonna be a long, long time till time <laughs> brings me round again to find. Oh God! <laughs> uh, yeah, keep going. No! I think at this time uh, that I, I start. Oh, stop! <laughs> Yourself, Pat. Thanks for talking to us. I gotta go. Goodbye.